beautiful day, guys. It's five in the morning, and I'm gonna go do a little catfishing. Poor Tommy's still asleep. That boy really needs his sleep, so I'm gonna let him go for it and uh, just go fishing for a few hours, and then afterwards, we're gonna go have some serious fun. Well, here I am at that river spot. Me and Tommy were checking out yesterday morning, just uh, about three hours earlier. I don't care what country you're in, a spillway is an awesome place to fish. All right, I'm gonna set up my Daiwa rod first. This is about an eight footer, 2.7 meter rod, but it is a good looking rod. Look at that. This is a, a newer version of the Liberty Club uh, Daiwa rods. Now I own a couple of the old silver uh, Liberty Club Daiwa rods. I have loved them and used them for catfish and carp for a number of years. So when I came here, I grabbed the, the newer models, which I think are made out of better material, a little bit more carbon fiber. I also got this brand new Daiwa reel to go with it. This is a Daiwa saltwater reel. It's got the mag seal on it so that water can't get into the, the ball bearings. Dirt, sand and stuff can't get in there. Oh man, look at that. That thing is as smooth as butter. That is a gorgeous reel. <laughs> yeah, that is a good looking combo. I got some Japanese, um, I think it's called G-Force or something, braided line. This is the thinnest braid I've ever felt in my life. Here we go, a very traditional spillway rig, a disc sinker, a dropper loop above that, the one-aught circle hook, and a little bit of sardine. We'll let that sit and see if uh, Japanese catfish like sardines. This is my Japanese catfishing rod. It's from a company called Sol Fiesta. And it says Namatsu right there. And it's a lure rod. It's got a split handle. It's a medium power rod. So this right here is the Shimano Scorpion DC. It's a low profile reel with an automatic drag system. So apparently it doesn't need to be adjusted because it's got auto drag on it. You simply tell it what type of line you're using, uh, in this case braid, and uh, and then it's off to the races. You can adjust it, but it's, uh, it's a very light reel. Well, I bought like 30 bucks worth of catfishing lures yesterday, and like an idiot, I left them all at the hotel. So instead, I've got a bobber, a split shot, a J-hook, a little bit of sardine. Well, I haven't seen any nibbles or any signs of catfish yet, but I can see two carp, one about six pounds and one about 10 pounds. Holy mackerel, there's a giant salamander down there. Right there. The thing's three feet long. He stuck his head out of the water and looked at me and I thought it was an alligator. It's a giant Japanese salamander. I've heard about these. These are the largest salamanders in the world. I didn't have a clue they'd be here. Oh my gosh, that thing was like a dragon. It's as long as that carp I caught yesterday. That is absolutely awesome. He's just living down there in those rocks. Well, I've been here for about two hours and I haven't gotten a single bite. Seen a lot of carp though, and a giant freaking salamander. So that was cool. I think what I'll do is pack it up for today and uh, maybe tomorrow I'll come back here with some carp bait and carp rigs and see how that works out. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Good. You wanna to go to the monkey monkey park today? Yeah, but I need to get some good breakfast. Becca's off to her conference and I've got Tommy here and we are gonna to go to Arashima to go see monkeys and other stuff. All right, got a parking spot for our bicycle. Let's get on the train now. We're going to walk the spot. You, you, you want a Pikachu soda? Hit the blue button under Pikachu. It's it's a Pokemon carrot and apple juice. Try it. You like it? Actually, I don't. You can. <laughs> you don't like it? I just want the sticker. That's uh, the platform for the Shinkansen. It's the bullet train. Things like 100 and something miles per hour. It's a great way, great way to travel within the country. Just because. It's not as time consuming as going through to an airport and getting through security and all that stuff. 
uh, but it's pretty darn fast. Okay, bud, here we go. Go, 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 move, move, move. Come here, Get in the taxi. Hop in, buddy. So, I'm going to try to find all the guys here. All right, you ready for the monkey park? This is good. Well, I hope you're ready to walk, Tommy. Oh, this is a little bit of a hike. Woo! Come on, Tommy. We got 50 more miles to go. <laughs> Tui, be careful. Please don't show them any food. Quite the hike in this heat. <sighs> oh, to have a five-year-old energy level. Yeah, little baby monkey. Now don't touch him, remember. Don't pick him up, don't touch him, Tom. They'll bite. See the mommy? She doesn't like she doesn't like other people near her baby. Grab it. Grab him. Okay, Come over here. Hello, Tom. Okay. One monkey was scratching his bottom, just like you. <laughs> Nathan, we got one of these for you. Got a pretty awesome view of Kyoto. Way off there in the distance, that's Kyoto Tower. Kyoto Eki, right over there. Hey, you want to go down to the playground, Tom? Hey, you want me to go help you go fast? No, I don't like Okay, that. well, just go normal speed then. <laughs> Change your mind twice in five seconds, didn't you? <laughs> Saw some monkeys. They freaked Tommy out a little bit, but we gotta feed a few. I gotta tell you though, I, I don't blame Tommy for being a little freaked out by the monkeys. My uncle Gene had a pet monkey and it bit his ear off. So yeah, you know. Here you go, bud. Here we go. Oh. Okay, here we go. We got melon cider and we've got classic original Mitsui cider. So Mitsuya means three arrows. So you can see their logo. And Mitsubishi, the car, means three diamonds. Kind of similar. Hmm? Mitsuya cider is kind of like um, 7-Up, but a little bit more fruity. All right, you have a good time, Tommy? You enjoy that? Yeah. Yeah, that was good times. All right, man, should we go, uh, go, let's find a rickshaw maybe. Go do a little sightseeing. While we were here in Japan, we got the tail end of a massive flood that killed like 170 people. Ariashiyama is a little bit closer to where that was really the worst. You can see the river still high and muddy up here. All right, we need to use the bathroom here before we go hit the rickshaw. And uh, there we go. There's the bathroom. It's like riding a bicycle. Never forget how. Well, we loved uh, doing that rickshaw ride in Kyoto and we're tired after riding up to the monkey park. Ah! So this, this guy is gonna take us around. We're gonna do a little sightseeing. <laughs> You wanna go first, Tom? Up you go, buddy. あ、ありがとう。で、スリスキーですかスリ。うん。だ、もうスリにやみつきよ。サバ、サバ。おお、すごい。いいか。おお、全部全部好き。おお、こんにちは。やってね。あ、水はちょっと汚いね。ちょっ
あ、私は熊本と長崎と福岡の,の方で住んだ。あ,ちょっとあちこちに行った。いいところですね。うわ、すごい田舎は大好きです。熊本いいですね。いいね、阿蘇さん。そうそう、すごく小さいな駅がある。その駅は一番長い名前がある。その南阿蘇市水の埋まらと佐藤白水高原駅。<笑>日本の中に一番長い名前です。<笑> There's a one star Michelin うなぎ丼 shop. That's my jam right there. <laughs> isn't this pretty, Tommy? Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? It's kind of blue, isn't it? Yeah, it is kind of a maze. That makes it amazing. Oh, oh Japanese maze. In Japanese, Momoji. Momiji. Oh, Spider Man. Can I have Spider Man? Please, and we cut down bamboo, and my dad fishes with bamboo rods. Yes. There you go, Tom's got a fan. He's got a cold water on the back of his neck. It's good. It's good to be a, a five-year-old sometimes. It's an old temple built by the shogun, Tokugawa shogun, and uh, not a single nail in there. All put together using joints. Yeah, I love Japanese gardens. They've got some really gorgeous ones here. This is a fun way to see the city. It's uh, you know relaxing, but it's more up close and personal than a car. And uh, these guys who pull these rickshaws. <laughs> Impressive. Make, yeah, it makes me realize I need to go to the gym more, you know? What's your what's your favorite samurai movie? So I like about and Bo Shogun. Mm. We got race to join those ladies on the bike! Yeah. <laughs> it's a Meiji convertible. Okay. Alright. Well that rickshaw ride was fun. We had a good time. Okonomiyaki has a all right, so this place we're gonna have some okonomiyaki, which is like a Japanese pancake that you cook on the table in front of you. So this is gonna be good. I've been wanting this uh, for a couple days now. Check it out. We got some yakisoba here, and we got okonomiyaki. It's a a pancake kind of like thing, only it's got like cabbage and vegetables and egg and ginger and meat in there. This one's got beef. Some have squid. And they put bonita flakes on it, mayonnaise, uh, soy sauce, and uh, a little bit of uh, seaweed too. But I love okonomiyaki. It is so good. Tommy's eating something other than ice cream. Yay! Arigato, kuchito sama deshita. Arigato, Arigato. Ice cream Oh, we got ourselves some food. Let's uh, do a little shopping for mom and Nathan and Jacob. And me and Daddy. Yeah. It's, it's crab, it's yeah. Spider crab. Spider crab, that's right. Whoa, is that crazy, Tommy? This is This is Japanese movie, manga. Hey, Tommy, look at this. He's giving you a present. See up there at the top? There's owls up there. <laughs> Is that real? It's a real owl. And you can touch him. Would you like to watch this? Okay. Right there, just on the back. You like that? Yeah, just very gentle. See? He's okay. He didn't mind that. Gentle slowly. Oh, <laughs> you bit. Do you want it? Yeah. No, 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 you're gonna totally bite me. Oh, that's a barn owl. That's from Virginia. Oh, yes, he's not sad. <laughs> he's not sad. He, he, he bit me. Try that one. You want me to try that one? Okay, hold still. I don't think I want to try this one. Nope, nope, not trying that one. Totally touched you, anyways. Haha. -ha. Wait, no, no, he's taking a break. See, there's a sign. Leave him alone. Oh, he's like, who touched me? Who touched me? <laughs> Here, come on, let's go inside. Let's get one. Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Tommy the Owl. Hello, my name is Tommy the Owl. All right, we're doing it. We're 
we're getting the slightly overpriced talking owl. Yo, who done this got them? Yeah. Look at these umbrellas. They're samurai swords, see? Get a pretty handkerchief from mom. Arigato. All right, come on. Here, have a keep going. It's a little salty, but not bad. It's nice and cold, and it's a vegetable, which I haven't eaten in a while. No idea what that is. So, big ol' Pikuru Miruku Oringo. Milk and orange, I think is what that says. Hi. Mm. Hi. A little bit like Kalpas. Safe and sound, there's a bicycle. Well guys, that was pretty fun. I am tired and sweaty and my backpack is full of souvenirs. So we're gonna head back to the house, see if we can get in touch with Becca and We'll figure out something to do for the rest of the day. We got home and Becca's still not back from her conference, so we're gonna run to the supermarket here and we're gonna pick up some carp bait and uh, I don't know, look around a little bit. Two dudes out on the town. All right, check it out. I got some carp bait here. I've got panko, got frozen corn because they don't sell canned corn, and I've got a loaf of fresh bread, and then I've got strawberry dozado. All right, well, me and Tommy are gonna get on the bike. We're gonna ride down to the river. And we're gonna do some pre-baiting. Go fishing tomorrow morning, probably. So I'm gonna throw out my bait and see what happens. I got my bucket of carp bait here. I'm gonna add some water to it, mix it up, and then I'm gonna chuck out some balls of it here to get the carp used to feeding on it. Then we'll try fishing for them tomorrow morning. Where's Tommy? What the? Can you get down? You're alive. You did it. Yep. Becca got home and we ate some cheapo bentos and we're turning in very early. It's about 7 p.m. And we are going to sit in bed, listen to our favorite audio book, and go get tons of sleep. We're only two weeks into a month-long thing. We, we got to pace ourselves. So... But uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try to go catch some of those carp, and I'll see you then. If you like this video, don't forget to check out part six of our 2018 world tour, where we spent five weeks traveling the world, fishing and exploring, and having a great time. So if you want to see those videos, don't forget to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.